Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome to on today's lecture. We are still on the course Basic Dispersing Theory 1. Unit 1, 5, 2. We are still on the topic suppositories and pastries, part five. This is our fifth contact on this topic. Yesterday, we discussed the suppository basis. And we started from the types of categories of suppository basis and examples. We discussed the fatty basis, and the, under the fatty basis, we discussed the natural, which is fibroma oil as an example, then we introduce the synthetic, the synthetic fatty basis. So, but today we'll start from the, from the synthetic fat, that is the synthetic fatty basis. Are we together? Are we together? Yes, we have no choice than to be together. You look so dull this morning. What's going on? You are, you, you are looking bright. Oh, except Chioma. It's only Chioma that is looking sharp and bright. Others are gloomy. What's that? What happened? Hmm? Talk to me. What is the issue? Okay. It's normal. But there is who? <coughs> Two of us. There is who? It's just for the meantime, okay? It's just for the meantime. You just be happy no matter what. Find happiness in anything around you. And the happiness will, 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 will radiate. Two of us, give. Yeah. You cannot, you cannot have everything. But find happiness in the, in the one you have, okay? And it, it will touch others. And you, eventually you become happy again. Okay, so let's look at this synthetic fact. Remember what I say that some of these uh, natural ingredients, base, base has been one of them have their issues. So, researches are being carried out to see how to improve on these ingredients. So, here now, the synthetic fat are there just to do what? Overcome the disadvantages of what? Theobroma oil. Am I communicating? Just to ensure that they, they even though, yes, we have synthetic fat, but there's a situation whereby you have no choice than to still use that word. Fibroma oil. Are we together? So, to overcome the disadvantages of um, fibroma oil, those, the synthetic fats, we are what? Searched. So, how do we obtain these synthetic fats? How do we obtain these synthetic fats? Please don't joke with this, how to get the synthetic fat. Don't joke with it. You will see dash, 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 and dash on how to synthesize this synthetic fat. Okay, let's go. Basically, basically is, is uh, obtained by hydrogenation and the heat treatment of vegetable oils, basically. Hydrogenation and the heat treatment of uh, vegetable oils, which can come from pan kernel, 
or arashi's oil by the time you start doing your emotion you know you, you understand better what that should be your second year all these oils which of them is uh, the mineral oil which of them is uh, fixed oil that, that you know that when you, when, you, when you come up when you do your emotion in your second year both in both in theory and in pra and, and, and practical courses all right let's continue so how does this take place basically remember 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 that uh, most of this oil is special this to to, to woman oil remember that it has remember, remember, remember it has unsaturated water high proportion of water unsaturated water fatty water hmm? fatty water Words. Thank you. Also, I said the words. Bless her. Remember. You said this. Is the one of the most common fatty? Okay. Can I make a little more science? All right, let's go. Um, Remember that most common fatty is the one of the most common Remember what we said from the beginning when we discussed the, the issue fibroma oil has with having high proportion of words, unsaturated words. Yeah, so, now here, is this unsaturated trigrep um, that have been hydrogenated? Of course, you, you did your organic chemistry, right? You are seeing it now, right? You know what hydrogenation is. What is hydrogenation? The chemical reaction what is hydrogenation? What is hydrogenation? Mama Mia. We are doing your organic chemistry program, right? What is hydrogenation? I don't have to tell you. What is hydrogenation? Fast. What is hydrogenation? Blowing long grammar. What is hydrogenation? Simple. What is hydrogenation? Just simple term is okay for me. What, what is hydrogenation? Who said that? God bless you. Simple. That shows a basic understanding of what hydrogenation is. You may be blowing one grammar, but you will show that you, show that you don't even understand what, what I'm talking about. You're blowing grammar. Simple thing. Addition of what? We don't want to go down to start explaining. You know, you don't start explaining what we are is added. But basically, it's, it's an additional reaction. Three of us. Yeah. We are hydrogen is added. Simple. Am I completing now? You know, this unsaturated means that there are the bonds are what unsaturated. Hope you know. So the, this bond is what will be saturated by this what hydrogen. Am I am I completing? So that's what hydrogen hydrogenation is all about. So 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 the, the hydrogen. So, through hydrogenation process, the unsaturated glycerides are what? Saturated. Through hydrogenation, the unsaturated glycerides are what? Saturated. So when they are saturated, now, heat, now the heat applied, the heat applied is there to split some of the what? Triglycerides into what? Fatty acid and what? Partial esters, which are just simple, just simple mono and di glycerides. Partial esters, mono and di glycerides. Two steps are involved. First is hydrogenation. Am I competing? So once the unsaturated glycerides are what saturated, then the heat treatment is there to split, to split it into what, into what, fatty acids and what, partial esters, mono. And die glycerides. Mono and die glycerides. Now, so this, this is basically what happens. <coughs> so most of the synthetic bases, actually, most of the most of them, most of them are actually made by by first hydrolyzing the what vegetable oil that hydro, that hydrolyzing that process of hydro, 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 hydrolyzing 
is the first step. And so when that is done, they will now do what? Hydrogenated, then resulting in what? I'm just I'm just repeating myself. Anyway, anyway you want to put it, okay? I'm just I'm just I'm just repeating myself so that you, you have no reason to say that you you forgot it in the in examination hall because this must definitely come out. It's a must. It's a must. So I say that most of the what synthetic what bases are made by first what hydrolyzing. I'm summarizing now. Hydrolyzing, then hydrogenating. So this whole process results in what? Fatty acids. Then finally you do what? Esterify by acid with acid by heating with what? Glycerol. Most of them are prepared by first hydrolyzing, <coughs> hydrogenating to produce what fatty acid. Then after that, what next? Esterification of this fatty acid by heating with what? Glycerol. Remember that in the first step, after hydrolyzing, yes, the hydrogenation. Remember hydrogenation. You know, heat, heat is applied at the same time. Remember, is that heat applied that will split, that will split the the the, 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 the saturated glycerol to produce fatty acid? That fatty acid produced will now be what esterified by what glycerol. The hydrogenation and heating process there serves to release the what? First, hydrogen will saturate it first. Then the splitting by heat will release the what? Fatty acid. Which is then what? Esterified by what? Glycerol. Am I completing? That is the process. This is the complete what? Process. Am I, am I, am I completing? You hydrolyze, hydrogenate. Remember you apply heat. You hydrolyze, hydrogenate. Then the heat applied will split to give what fatty acid, which is then what esterified. So you have hydrolyzation, hydrogenation, splitting, esterification. Two of us. Are we, are we together? One is hydrolyzing, hydrogenating, splitting. Fatty acid will come up. Then what? Esterification or esterifying as guess it will be to produce the what the basis. Are we together? No, this is how most of the synthetic fatty bases are what? Produced. Have you now seen that from the natural? We got this. Are we together? Do you think is it even though we call it synthetic, look at it, is it totally synthetic? Is the the main thing was taken from the natural source, right? Mm -hmm. Is it more of semi-synthetic or synthetic? Mm -hmm. it's, it's more of semi-synthetic, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. So let's look at the advantages and, and disadvantages of this synthetic uh, or semi-synthetic, as case may be, fatty what basis. Advantages, number one. They have high softening points. They have high what? They are breeds that have high what? Softening what? Points. And they are very good for what? Tropical and what? Subtropical what? Formulation. Am I, am, am, am I communicating? Yes. High, just no, no the main point there. High what? Softening point. You can get a high softening point. High, you know what we mean by high softening point? Remember, Tibroma oil has low softening point. Just at very temperature, at just my bit increase in temperature, it will get softer. Am I completing? And if it gets soft, it's a problem. It's, it's a problem, true of us. But this one, they have high what? Softening point. Are we together? Yes. Are we together? But this, this one is especially good for what? Tropical and what? Subtropical. Tropical, to, tropical what? Tropical formulation. Tropical, sorry, not, not tropical. You know what is to, tropical, right? Tropical. Tro, tropical. Re remember I mentioned something about Tiruma oil not being wonderful for tropical climate. Remember? Remember, right? Can I remember? So you can use it for such places. Are we together? Yes. No issues. All right. So, so the next one. 
Yeah, yeah. Let's continue. Are we together? Hello, one house. One house. One house. One house. US. US Nigeria Limited. What? Hey, hello. All right, let's go. So, they usually, they usually, listen carefully, they contain high pro proportion of partial glyceride. Hope you know, you do the reason why they contain partial glyceride. Who knows the reason why they, why they contain partial, proportion of partial glyceride. I mentioned it here. We are discussing the advantages. Uh, good, good. You know we say that, you know we say that the heat treatment will split the saturated what, glyceride, right? Into what, fatty acid and partial what, glyceride. Are we together? He says I'm not better. He says what? So, which one will confuse you more? Esther. Esther is a general term, hope you know. Yes. There are different types of Esther, but here we are being specific on what we are talking about. Okay. Are, are, we, are we together? Yes. This here now, we, we are specific on the one we are talking about. Esther is a general term, right? Yes, sir. But what type of Esther are we talking about? Is Gashley not, not Esther? So we should be specific, more specific. That, that's why she said, partial, right. wonderful. Mono and die, that's why they are partial Esther. Wonderful. But we have been specific. I don't think there's any, any confusion here. All right, let's continue. So, I said that they, they have what? Proportion of what? Partial what? Glyceride. Are we together? Good. Example, glyceryl monosterate. Glyceryl monosterate. Glyceryl monosterate. Examples, examples. Glyceryl monosterate. This one, they are water in oil water, emulsifying agent. So what it means is that they, are, they have the emulsifying water capacity and their water absorption capacity are also, are also, also what? Good. Example of this example, this is an example of what? Of what? Uh, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? What are we discussing? So are we, are we, are we, is that, that glycerate monosilic, is it an example of synthetic fat or an example of partial glycerate? Listen carefully. I said, we are talking about advantages, right? Yes. I said they usually contain a proportion of partial glycerate, some of which Example, glyceryl monosterates are water in oil emulsifying agents and therefore their emulsifying and water absorbing capacities are what? Good. Remember, remember, remember to, to go more oil has this issue of low water water. So it has four emulsifying water. Two of us. Good. Am I completing? But here, an improved one, a synthetic one or, or synthetic one has has this active this ability to do what emulsify. Am I completing? Not normal. It, it is normal. Example glycerin what emulsify is an example of what water water in oil what emulsify agent. So it, it has high water absorbing what capacity and emulsifying what property. Am I completing? Is that not an improvement? On Tiogoma oil. It is right. So, is this glycerate monosterate that has, it just gave you an example of this synthetic fat that has 
proportion of what? Partial what? License. So it's not partial what? <laughs> it's what? Is it clear now? Do you understand it? All right, so don't cram it, okay? Now, so this advantage is trying to let you know that they have that this semi synthetic or synthetic as it has they have high, better emulsifying property and water what absorption of absorbing what property over what the natural one. This summary of what this second advantage is trying to let you know. They are more, they have more, more emulsifying, better emulsifying property and water what absorption what property. Now, under, under, under example, another advantage. If you like, overheat them. Overheating them does not affect their the solidifying what points. Okay, overheating does not affect their what solidifying points. Overheating does not affect their what solidifying points. Are we together? Yes. Overheating does not affect. Some people are looking for we be here. I read what I I just read now. I'm explaining. No, please put down what you hear me say. If you keep looking at your book, paper, you will not see, you not see the way it is. So you must not always see the way it is there. Just pick, pick the point there and move on. After you compare with, with what you have in your words, material. Are we together? Just pick the point. Pick what you hear. What you hear. After you do what, compare later. Okay. All right. I say that their words overheating does not affect their what solidifying point. Very important. Okay. Remember the, the, the effect of the, 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 the effects of uh, how oxidation can contribute to rancidity. Remember? Yes. Remember? Good. So, but this synthetic fat, they have good resistance to what? Oxidation. They have good resistance to what? Oxidation. So why do they have... What makes them to have this resistance to oxidation? Because of what? Because their unsaturated fatty acid has been what? Reduced. Remember? It's saturated, remember? You first do what? Saturate by hydrogenation, right? Before splitting and the what? So the, the, the level of unsaturated fatty acid has been what? Reduced. So they are not prone to what? Oxidation. They resist what? Oxidation. You know, so what happen, What do you think will be their effect of rancidity on them? Would they, be, would they stand against rancidity more than the tuber oil? They will. Yes, they will. Because oxidation is a very important factor in rancidity. All together. So they will. They can. And okay, remember. Remember? Remember, on their own, they can mix with water easily. Remember, without having any issues because of their emulsifying property. So water won't even cause any issue with them in terms of what rancidity. Neither will oxidation affect them. So that means they can withstand what better. They have better profile in terms of resisting what rancidity than what fibroma or have you seen the. We have made about four improvements yes. now. Okay, let's continue. Okay, listen carefully. The, the difference between the melting point and the setting point. I think I have explained what setting point is here, right? I have done that. What is certain? If you pour a molten something, molten candle inside a, a cup, certain means that if, if it sets, it will turn to what? Solid. I, think I, have a, I, I can't continue explaining this. Okay. So I said that the difference between the melting and their setting point is what? Narrow, small. The difference between their melting point and setting point is small. What does that mean? It means that 
it doesn't take much time to do work. In fact, if you put them in the move, they can easily, yes, without wasting time, okay? Yes. Now, okay, it's, it's actually generally, it is generally only 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius. The difference between their setting melting point and setting point is just between 1.5 to 2 degrees worth Celsius. Seldomly, seldomly, it can be over what? 3 degrees worth Celsius. Seldomly, it can be over what? 3 degrees worth Celsius. That means they set quickly. In summary, forget all this grammar we have been blowing. They set quickly, very fast, okay? They set quickly. Now, this setting quickly helps them to overcome sedimentation. Help them to do what? Overcome sedimentation. So the risk of sedimentation is low because they set quickly. The risk of sedimentation is low because they set quickly. Now, and they are very easy, very easier to work at next time. You know, when I say, what I say, you know, you know, remember that this, this base, this base doesn't, is not just the base alone. You have already incorporated ingredients, other ingredients, active ingredients being one of them, and this active ingredient should be able to uniformly distribute it in the what, in the mix. Am I communicating? Now, if the setting is not fast, these ingredients may start coming together. Am I communicating? They may settle. They may settle in one corner. That means you may even have a move that may contain supposedly without any what ingredients. Am I communicating? Without active what ingredients. But because they set quickly, they will not give time for such to happen. Am I completely? Yes. They won't give time for such to do what happen. So that setting quickly helps to prevent sedimentation. So the risk of sedimentation is very, very what? Low. Is what? Low. Is low. Alright, let's continue. Remember what we said about the issue of tibroma oil with some ingredients. What are what are those active ingredients? That if you if you use them to if you use tibroma oil to, to formulate them, what will happen? That the, 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 the melting point of the tibroma oil will reduce. And what are those ingredients? Name them. Ah, so name them. I said yes, they will discuss. There are some ingredients that if you use tibroma oil to formulate them, they are melting the melting point. Of that if you use if you use tumor oil to, to formulate them, the melting point of tumor oil will, will, will go down. What are they? Phenol and what? Phenol and what? Say it. Chlorine. Uh, God bless you. You go far. Chloral and what? So, so if you use tumor oil to formulate this, now the melting point of the tumor oil will, will be affected. Of course, you know the implication. Just, in fact, at a room temperature, self, it will start melting. True or false? That's the meaning. Remember, you should get to up to 30 degrees Celsius because of the rectal temperature. Even room temperature even melted to very degrees Celsius because the melting point of the of the base has already been what compromised, reduced because of these ingredients. But this 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 um, synthetic synthetic fat overcome this. So to overcome that, you can just use. Remember, we say that high grade, high softening point grade are available. Remember of this synthetic. That's the first. First advantage we put yeah. yeah. Now, if you use those high softening point grade of this synthetic fat, this will not happen. 
You can use it to, you can use it, you can use it high softening, high softening point grade of this sensitivity fat to formulate this phenol or whatever, mm -hmm. and it will not affect it. The, the melting point won't be affected. Are we together? You don't understand what? I thought you said that this mineral and mineral and energy is very easy. And I said that if you use um, ice water, ice water to produce that kind of thing, this thing will not be good. I don't understand your question. Reframe your question so I will, I will, I will, I will answer your question. Okay. Okay. So that's saying that if you use um, this dating I don't know how you say it before, so that you can use it to produce this to some Is that what I said now? I say formulate. 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 I I not say produce. I say formulation. In formulation, now what it means that if you incorporate Remember that this synthetic fat is the base. Now, if you formulate, even if you add this in a formulation, where you use synthetic, where you use this fat, synthetic fat as the base, it won't affect the melting point. It's good that if you use the high softening point grid. Remember the issue with tobacco oil. If you use tobacco oil to, to formulate and, and incorporate this, it will affect the melting point of tobacco oil. Remember that the base is just like the is a vehicle, just like the basket, what holds. So if the, if the melting point is, 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 is reduced, even small increase in temperature, room temperature, just up to maybe 27, 28, it will melt. And if it melts, what happens? Everything will scatter through of us. So to avoid that, you can go for synthetic, if you want to formulate this, you, you can use what? High, 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 high softening point grade of this what? Synthetic what? Are we together? Yeah. And basically, most of the drug that does that does this this issue that has this issue. Listen carefully. Most of the drugs that have this issue with this basis are usually fat soluble what drugs. Put that point down. Most of the drugs that have this issue are usually fat soluble drugs. Mainly. Most of them are fat soluble drugs. <laughs> Some people will be here, but they are not here. And I don't follow it. I don't know how to put it. Okay, which issue shall we discuss in here? It's okay, which issue shall we discuss in here? Can someone tell me what, what we are discussing now? No. Someone from this side. Oh yeah, tell me. For the past 10 minutes, what have I been talking about? Of what? Uh -huh. Okay, what did I say about it? Make sure no. Uh -huh. I don't see you now. <laughs> Can I ask you that question here? Can I be here? What does it do? Can I be here? And then we have to make sure. Oh, well, 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 Okay, it's clear, right? Okay, it's not clear. No, no, no. Sharp, sharp. Okay. Please, please, please. Hello. Nobody will eat you if you ask questions in class, okay? Don't keep quiet. Ask questions. Eh? Is that what? Hey, Buna. Eh? I'll eat you. It's not true. I will not eat you. Ask me, I will not eat you. Hello, what I don't like is for you to keep quiet and be looking at me. If I pass a particular, a particular section, you should start calling me back. That's what I don't, I don't like. 
But once you you miss a, you miss a particular step, please ask question immediately. That shows you are following. Some of you may be just in, or you may be your man maybe in your hostel at home. Then after 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 some time you come back and start asking one question and show that you've not been here since. Where do we start from? That's one I don't like. Like you know, after the meeting, like you, you, you ask me one question. They are following. Okay now. Okay, so let's continue. Hello. Hello. Okay, now listen carefully. Sometimes, sometimes, out together. Sometimes, if you incorporate, if you incorporate insoluble powders in the formulation, sometimes if you if you incorporate insoluble powders in formulation using using a uh, this fat basis, even no, uh, normal babies, what happens is that sometimes this that insoluble powder you add may lead to Hardening may produce may lead to pro, for formation of production of what hard what suppository uh, hard and brittle what suppository because of the insoluble powder maybe maybe part of the ingredient is insoluble powder it can lead to what hard what suppository hard and brittle what suppository hard and what brittle what Hard and what Rachel. Of course, you, 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 you know, you know, um, hey, madam, come here, pass, come here, mm, come, carry a book and come, pass, Amma, go there, fast, 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 please, if you are in my class, don't sit with your, don't sit with your friend in my class. You, you, you are not helping yourself by sitting with your friend in the class. All together, you are not. You think you're helping yourself. You are not. On a more serious note, if you are in class, don't sit with somebody you are too familiar with in, your, in, in the class. It's not a good thing for you. You think it's, it's held, it's not. If you want to study, as you want to study, don't say somebody you are too familiar with. Unless you want to have a, a, a study group yeah, as a discussion class. You know you are discussing now. But if you want to study, don't do it. You, you may stay for two hours if you think you are you are, you are, you are anything. Maybe if you check when you actually do something important, 30 minutes. Am I completing? Sometimes you know, the person may be talking to you, you want to study out of, I don't know how he or she will feel. You want to compromise. It's, it's not a good thing. When you're not doing anything, you can gallivant, jump up and down. It's okay. But once you want to study, please, especially at, at this stage, please, you may think that you, the level you are doing now is wonderful, but you would have done something better than what you are doing. You see if you are very distant and chatting, you don't even know when you are discussing. I'm here, I see all of you. You don't even know that you are distant. Ah, say, come here. Sit there. Mm, sit there. Go and sit. Sit there. This thing, this thing is too much in this class. You say, ah. And that's why it's here. That's wrong. Very, very wrong. All right, let's continue. So, I said that uh, sometimes solid, insoluble ingredients, in, in, insoluble powder, when incorporated, can lead to what? Hard to pro pro production of what? Hard and brittle what? So to overcome this, the base to use here, you use what? Base with what? Low what? Low soft no what? Point grade. So as, as, as you can see now, because you have modified this, modified this natural fat, you can get any grade you want to get. 
That means we, we this 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 um, this um, synthetic fat we have grade that are high softening point grade. You intentionally get that grade and keep. You can go to you can go for grade that is that has what low softening point. Each of them has has where you need them. So if we if what you want to formulate, we, you need to incorporate insoluble powder. Go for the base that has that for the grade that the grade that, that is what low, low what that has low softening point. That is the one you need to use to avoid producing hard and brittle suppository. Are we together? Then to avoid producing maybe when you want to incorporate some, some ingredient, mainly fast soluble ingredient that will lead to depression in the melting point of the base. To avoid that, you go for what? High softening point grade of the what? Synthetic what? I've always said it before now. Okay, let, let me say it here. I said that if you want to, if you want to avoid, maybe what you want to incorporate is fat soluble what? Ingredients. You can this may be, may be this and that, okay? And uh, if you want to, the base to use to avoid depression or decreasing the melting point of the base. Of course, you know the implication. To avoid that, you go for what? High softening point grade of this what? Synthetic what? Fat. Are we together? Are we together? Now, listen carefully. No, even though, how together? Even though softening points is not exactly the same as what? Now, I hope you know. Yes. Uh, but it gives an indication that melting point is around the corner. True of us. Yes. True of us. It's not exactly. Sentiment with melting point, hope you know. But at least it gives an indication that the melting point is around the world. It's a true of us. But if you get something before it, before it, 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 it does what? It melts. True of us. That is my friend. Jesus. <laughs> no, this one will not play. Sit down. She will not play. Does she play in class? Ah, see, go there. Be going. No, sit there. You, go there. Fast, fast, fast. Uh -huh. Let's continue. I know those do that make noise in my class. I see you. I'll be keeping quiet for a long time. Now, no more keeping quiet. I'll be doing now. I have endured enough. I have endured. I know, all of, I know, I know all of one by one. But, but you, you, you may not. I know the pairs. I know, I know you pairs. But you may not know. My eyes on you, why? Hello, my eyes. Come along, we are more since you have to More to serve, come along, we are more. All right, now let's, let's, let's continue. So, another, another advantage is this they don't need lubricants, they don't need Lubricant because they contract significantly on cooling. On their own, they contract six. Of course, I hope you know that if they contract, they will retract from the mold. Hope you know. They will, they will separate from the mold, right? So the on cooling they contract significantly. So they don't need any what lubricant. Is that not an added advantage? It is.
They, in fact, if you use them, if you use them, you can produce suppository of high aesthetic value, very white, you know, beautiful, attractive. You want to use even even though you're not, you're, you're not, um, you, 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 you don't have the need to use them. You want to, you would like to use them. That one I, I brought here that day. When I open, when I open it, how was it? If it was, no, I, I mean the appearance. They are very attractive and polished. So they have high aesthetic what? value. Higher aesthetic value. Higher. They have higher aesthetic value. Aesthetic value. They are attractive. They, they are white, attractive, you know, polished. When compared with the other one. So what are the disadvantages? What are the disadvantages of this synthetic world? Yeah, you ready? This this noise from. So one one of the disadvantages is this: don't cool them. They should not be cooled in the refrigerator or ice. They should not be cooled in what refrigerator or what ice. Because the, the reason is that they become what brittle if cooled quickly. When they get cooled quickly, they become what. Of course, if they become you know the implication now. Good. But remember. Remember that some inherent property that may not that may be a disadvantage can be corrected. Remember to get what you are looking for. Now, to correct this, you add some things. You add polysorbate 80. You add what? Polysorbate 80. This is an additive that, can, additive that you can add there to, to correct the issue of what? Of getting bread to when what? Cool. In a video, yes. So these are the additives you can, one of the additives you can add, polysorbate 80, to correct the faults. But that one is its, its own natural inherent issue. So you can correct by adding what? Polysorbate what? 80, doing the formulation, okay? To, 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 to guard against what? That issue that arise from cooling, okay? Because come what may, you need to cool it. You you need to be at that temperature. If you bring it out, temperature may vary. It may melt. Two of us. So what do we now do? You have to do this to be able to do what safeguarding. Am, am, am I communicating? Yes. Sir. So remember, I said that in a situation where you have no choice, you look for means to do what correct that particular word for. Remember what I is what I what I explained about sedimentation. Remember, remember what I explained about sedimentation. That they set quickly. Uh, you know, you know, you know when they when they you know just like had. Okay, now let me let me. If there's how if there's possibility of dispersing maybe something else inside the candle wax, if there's possibility of dispersing such as inside inside the candle wax, or even or even water, water or any liquid that has high viscosity, for example, now disperse something else inside it, and then, that thing you disperse is still suspended, right? If you're able to cool it immediately to form block. Those things disperse we, we hand where they are, true of us. True of us. But if you allow it, 
they will gradually do what? Sediment and pack one side, two of us. So now when you are formulating, if you mix blend properly, and the, the time it takes to set is long, that thing may not be suspended there for a long time. They may come to one side. Let alone when that thing is not viscous, it's fluid, it, 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 it's more, it's more, it's more, it's more, it's less viscous, for example, now. Solution will be fast, true of us. Now, this happens with this, this is, a, is an issue with this type of work, with this um, synthetic work, fat. Now, unlike tuberoma oil, mm -hmm. when they melt, they are more fluid than, than what tuberoma what oil. Am I completely? Well, if you make two of them, they are, they, they are more fluid. Their fluidity is more, higher than what the human oil. So because of that high fluidity, there is tendency for sedimentation when melted, when compared with what the human oil. So to avoid that, you can add other things like thickness. You can add what? Thickness. You can add what? You know what thickness? Thickness will increase the viscosity, right? Yes. You can add what? Thickness. Example of thickness you can add, you have your magnesium, magnesium stearate, bentonite. You can add magne magnesium stearate, you can add what? Bentonite. Depending on the drug in question, you may have a particular drug that may have different. You know that most of remember in the beginning of the base when we said um, um, discussing this base, I said that each of these base have their different release profile. Mm -hmm. How this one will release the drug may not be sentient. Mm -hmm. So now here now, even though is a is a a an, a an, an improved version of what this tuberoma, whatever. Mm -hmm. But the point there is that you don't expect maybe a, a particular drug that may have a release pattern in tuberoma oil to have the same release pattern in what this synthetic fat. So to avoid, so if you have that at the back of your mind, it will help you to know exactly how to do what control it and know how to make use of it. Am I complete? So you don't rather than say they should have the same thing. No, it may not have. So these are what you should check out while using this word, synthetic word, basic. Are we together? Yes. Are we sure we are together? Yes. Maria, what are you writing? Okay, are you get it? That's good. You're quiet, and I have to see. See, you like it. Eh? Eh? You don't like it. You don't like it. But it's good for you. Ada? You can't go to the other side. You can't go to the other You should come sit and start sitting here. Alone. Okay, now. Let's look at um, hydrophilic basis. Hydrophilic, we are done with fatty basis. Let's look at hydrophilic suppository basis. This thing you see, this thing here is just, is just, the, is just the formula where they are used, okay? Let's, let's, let's go down straight to the what? The first one, glycerol what? Gelatin base. Glycerol what? Gelatin base. Glycerol, gelatin base. Are we together? Glycerol, gelatin base. Glycerogelatin base is a mixture of what? 
Christ alone and what? Water. Into a stiff jelly by adding what? Gelatin. So glycerol, water, and gelatin. I said that glycerogelatin base is a mixture of glycerol and water into a stiff jelly by what? Addition of what? Gelatin. Simply put, glycerogelatin base is composed of what? Glycerol, water, and what? And what? Gelatin. Gelatin basically. You know that gelatin is gel like in nature, right? You produce to, to you produce, it's, it's produced to be a stiff gelatin, stiff jelly like consistency. Stiff jelly consistency. You know what you know what gel is now? Jelly, right? Yes. Uh, you used to eat now, two of us. Good. Jelly like what consistency. So that gelatin is what gives it that jelly what consistency. Am I completing? Yes. So we have water, glycerol, and what? Gelatin. So so you can not Glycerol gelatin base is not just is not just employed in suppository in suppositories alone. It, it could also be used in manufacturing jellies, pastries, suppositories, and uh, other dosage forms. But what matters is to know how to adjust the what the proportion. Their proportion with of this ingredient determines. The one, the one you want to produce will determine how the proportion of this what ingredient. Am I communicating? Yes. The proportion of what ingredient will determine the, the one you want to produce will determine the proportion. How you will now vary the proportion of amount of each of these. I mentioned now. That's how you adjust it. You produce something else. That's how you adjust it. You produce something else. Am I, am I communicating? But basically, basically. These three ingredients are very important in a very uh, important component of what glycerogelatin base. One thing about this glycerogelatin base is that, is that unlike fatty base, this one dissolves in body what secretion, like rectal fluid, like vaginal fluid, even in, in mucous fluid. It can easily what dissolve, so it dissolves in body secretions. So it's not issue of temperature now. Hello, it's not issue of what temperature, but issue of getting contact with the body secretion. When it comes in contact with the body secretion, it will do, it will do what dissolves and release the what what it, what what it contains. Okay, so glycerogelatin base dissolves in body secretions. And is therefore preferable to fatty base for administering antiseptics. No that point. No that point. It dissolves in secretion, in body secretion, and is therefore preferable to fatty base for administering what? Antiseptic. Another point I want to make is that the release of the active ingredient from, from, from glycerogelatin base is slower than from fatty base. Because you know fatty base you just met, bam, it will go. But this one will, will dissolve first before it will come out. Am I communicating? Yes. So it's slower. The release of active ingredient from glycerogelatin base is slower than release from what? Fatty base. Note this important point. So, as you can see, the sketch in your course material is just what I've explained here. You have your what? Glycerol, water, and gelatin combined to form what? Glycerol, gelatin bases.
first time. When we start? Okay, we start at 9. Hey, seven is not two. It's not two. I just spent one hour. You are tired of me. Just ordinary one hour. Simple one hour. Chicken one hour. My meat one hour. I am complaining. Me that plan to stay for three hours here. Okay, so are we still up to one hour thirty minutes? Yes. It's not true. All right. Um, we, we, we've introduced the Lysero Jatin base. At least you now understand what they mean, what it means, and when compared with what your grammar are right. So from tomorrow, by God's grace. We we'll copy from where we stop from tomorrow. Okay, any question? Ask. Any question? No way. Alright, in the absence of any way, we'll stop here. Thank you, sir. God bless you.